Preparing to build a PC isn't just a parts list. I mean, yes, a parts list is certainly part of it, but there are some other steps worth taking before you get into the build. So if you're a first timer or you've had build troubles in the past and you want some strategies to prevent them from happening again, then this is the video for you. Hey there, I'm Sarah from Thermaltake Australia and here are five steps you should take before you build your PC. Number one, clear your building space. If your desk is currently just filled with junk, then building on it in its current state is not the best idea. Ensure you have a good desk or table space that's free from clutter and other items that can take up unnecessary space. Also, ensuring you're working somewhere that won't be needed by others is also recommended. Because look, if you haven't built before, it takes longer than you think, trust me. And if your family is gonna wanna use that table for their Friday Night Monopoly game in two hours time, maybe reconsider where you're building. Number two, ensure your building space is the right environment. So it's one thing to clear your space, it's another to ensure it's the right one. If you're just planning on building on the kitchen table or worse, the carpeted living room floor, do I have a stern expression for you? It's this, this is the expression. If you can avoid it, building on carpet isn't always ideal due to the potential for static electricity buildup, but just don't build on the floor, please. A good desk or table is best and preferably not one people sit at while eating dinner. Number three, get a good screwdriver. I cannot stress enough how much easier building is with a good quality screwdriver. Getting rid of that old cheap screwdriver you inherited from your dad and replacing it with something more specifically designed for building can save you a lot of time and ease with hand and wrist strain too. A ratcheting screwdriver can do exactly that for you and even makes a cool sound when doing so. Bonus points if the screwdriver is also magnetic, as this can decrease your chances of the dreaded a stray screw falling into the void that is your chassis situation. Number four, get a magnetic screw tray. Just as getting a magnetic screwdriver helps you avoid losing screws, this can too. There's nothing worse than realizing that the screw you need has disappeared. Even worse when you realize it's already tumbled onto the floor and rolled away somewhere. A great solution is a magnetic screw tray, which is often quite affordable and easy to find. Not only does this ensure your screws don't disappear on you, but it's also a super easy way to separate them too. Ensuring certain screws stay together makes it all that much easier when midway through a build and saves a lot of time, so it's well worth the small investment. Number five, gather yourself a lot of cable ties. If you think to yourself, yeah, I have enough cable ties, you probably don't. Mm. These little guys come in clutch during the build process, turning cable management from an unruly, terrifying jungle of a task to a simple and easy one. Getting a good variation of cable ties is good too. Sometimes something is good to be zip-tied, as you know you won't be changing it, but if you're planning on upgrading something like your fans later on, sticking with twist or Velcro ties might actually be the way to go. So grab a lot and grab a variety too. So there were five steps you should take before you build your PC. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, remember to leave us a like and pop any thoughts or questions or any comments you have to help out other builders out there in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ding the bell to be notified each and every time we upload, especially this daily upload August. Uh, also, while you're still here, check out either of these Thermaltake videos. It'll be somewhere on the screen. And um, we'll see you tomorrow.